Saturday, April 6th. Two more days left to the eclipse. I'm starting off on spaceweather.com, the real-time image gallery, and I'm looking at that up from Odds Image. It posted April 3rd, and he has a description here. I highly suggest you check it out and read this and how he referenced Comet Holmes. I, I have covered Comet Holmes. Oh, God, I've made so many videos on this comet. I lost track where a lot of my information, but I did cover Holmes from the beginning. And this is what Holmes looked like when it had a tremendous outburst, which was the big, bigger than the sun it, when it expanded. It was far, far, far away beyond the orbit of Mars, uh, beyond the asteroid belt by Jupiter on top, high elevated, moving away. Thank God for us all. But looking at odds information, I mean, this latest outburst, it, it does have that characteristic of homes. And last I checked, it was over 600,000 kilometers wide, the coma diameter. Tail was over 12 million, over 12 million kilometers. Oh, by the way, before I continue, I opened up the, because I had a other, I had a video prior to this and I was getting ready to edit. It was 22 minutes long. I covered a lot of topics, but then when I got to the editing, it got wiped out. So read between the lines there. But I was uh, reading the Bible. You know, when you when you open your finger, you just flip through it and see what see what pops up. You know, and I got the chapter Matthew chapter five. I gotta use this because I have difficult seeing even with the glasses. Chapter five, verse three. Verse 3, blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in hearts, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Number 10. Blessed are they that are persecuted right, persecuted for righteous sake, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Number 11. Blessed are thee when men shall revive you and persecute you and shall say all manners of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice, be, rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you you are they are the light of the world a city that sets on the hill cannot be hid, hidden so much here okay wow okay this this image here was taken from francisco a day ago remember these are amateurs amateurs astronomers and imagine if we had the look at the color of it the magnificent beauty of it you can stories the green comet blah 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 remember these are amateurs these are not the big observatories or spacecraft taking these images these are guys with with cameras with a telescope in the backyard and remotely you know you see them they're not your big gigantic building with a big dome on top of Hawaii or some other location, Panstar and all the all the others. Okay, this image was taken by Noah. Make it bigger. Zoom in. Look at that. It looks like a movie. It it just looks so unrealistic. Check out this one. This one comes from Francis uh, over there by, I think that's France. So a closer look on this, make it bigger. Look at that, look at the outer shell. Now this image, see, see that object below? I'll, I'll come back to that, that. You can see the comment now coming in the view stereo. Stereo H1, HI1. There it is. But that object right there is an unknown. See how it turned off? It was doing the so the CME right there. Okay, I'll get more on that. But people are just capturing beauty. It's beauty. It's just showing different shape, different colors. I mean, it's it's just amazing. Now here's the site. It's on Facebook. Check them out and participate. Join, show your pictures, your images, post it on there so all of us can see it. There's so many different images. I mean, I could just flip through the pages and see something different every single time. This was from this guy right here from Jap 
I think it's Japan. Look what, let's see what he got. Let's make it bigger. Wow, look at that. Look at that. That's tremendous grandote outer shell. Over a half a million, over 600,000 plus kilometers wide. Almost half the size of the sun. But this is amazing. Just before the eclipse, just lighting up. When you go to space weather, you got a whole bunch, a whole bunch uh, posted on a daily basis. Basically updated. You got to keep checking regularly. But there's a whole bunch of images. Now, there's a couple of sites I highly recommend checking out. This site right here posted a day ago. He is the path to salvation and no other. Brooks obviously means flowing water as in Noah's flood of judgment or Jesus's waters of life. You can take it both ways. Sometimes it both fulfills it. So Comet Pond's Brooks orbit is just a little over 70 years. The years designated for the Jewish liberation from the Babylonian captivity. Again, these are not happenstance. These are all biblical numbers. If it happens to be... Yes, yes. And there's another one that I want to share with you. Okay, this site right here, I'll play a little brief. Name of 12P Pond's Brooks that will be passing by Earth. Right there. It only shows up once every 71 years and just so happens to show up right next to the sun on April 8th, 2024. And guess what its nickname is? The Devil's Comet. Incredibly, there was a comet visible in 1811 right before the New Madrid earthquake as well. From Devil's Lake to the Devil's... I, I got videos in history on that on uh, the Eden, the end of Eden video also, which takes it back during the time of Moses during that time period by Carl Sagan. He, he, he was the best, uh, the video. But I'll put the link on there too. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, there's a lot happening, a lot being revealed. I mean, it, it, it's just like the comment made people go do things that they normally don't, don't, don't do. I mean, the lightning strike over there by the Statue of Liberty, the earthquake. Uh, CERN with their video. I ought to check this out. Their ceremony ushering in strange lights in Brooklyn. Right here. Right after the earthquake. And there's a, a lot of information too. I mean, these bugs, I mean, these zombies, cicadas coming out, out of the ground. Yeah, it's uh, a lot happening, a lot of depression, a lot of sad. This is sad. It's like a, like a watching a movie, like the zombie apocalypse movie. And people just, just, just doing things. Uh, rest in peace. Just doing things crazy. I mean, just violence. I mean, just just crazy. Just just the world is gone crazy. And looking at this comet. God, look at look at look at all those jets. It reminds me of the Egyptian painting, drawing stone. So what happened in New York? It's just a, uh, oh, by the way, in this, this alignment here, the little add-on here, they're missing they're some, a key. Okay, right where my pointer is at, in the constellation Aquarius, you got the comet Inky, 2P. If you do, you check in the Sustodium on the uh, app that provides the star constellation information, all that. You got that comet. Why is this comet important? Because to over 12,000 years ago, when it broke apart, it was, it was a gigantic comet, they say. It broke apart and fragments hit the Earth. And that's what caused that mass extinction over 12,000 years ago. It happens to be in the picture. I mean, it's small. It's, it orbits every 3.3 years around. It's smaller, but it's in the picture. And it should be noted that comet is in the picture, too. Just as a reminder what the devastation a comet could do. Okay, till next time.